Hey, welcome to the Prosperity Show. My name's Dean Martin and I'm from Fitness for Life. What we do is bring fitness, health, business and lifestyle all into one. Looking at what you can do with your fitness and health and clarity and focus and how to adapt that into business and your lifestyle to be able to say yes to more. Allowing your day to be full of energy and to be able to do what you want, when you want, where you want and with whoever you want. So I'm looking forward to seeing you live on, our, on the show. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we're actually going to be lifting heavy things with the lifestyle coach himself, Jin. Jin, how's it going, my man? Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, can you see, I can bench press 100 now, but then this is the best I could do on short notice. All right. Oh, now, that's well done. <laughs> now, viewers, if you're watching this show and if you've been following and you are subscribed to our channel, you would know that our mission is to make sure that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And in the process, you can't do well if you cannot feel well or you're not feeling well. So that's the reason why exercise and actually looking after your body is important and imperative for every entrepreneur that really wants to have a success out there. So that's the reason why we've got Dean today from Fitness for Life. And he's just going to be telling us a little bit about how he goes about his day, what he actually does, and how that can help you be, do, and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Thank you so much, Dean, for your time today. No, thanks for having me. Hey, this is great. So, yeah. <laughs> great stuff. So, obviously, we're all looking for success in life. And success in life is about taking the right actions at the right time. And if you don't know what to do, um, then how are you supposed to get, you know, success? Now, how is exercise and being fit crucial or important to, first of all, anyone in life? And second of all, to entrepreneurs as a whole? That's it. So, um, well, when you're, when you're fit, you're healthy and things, you've got more focus, you've got more clarity on everything. And that's major with business. So if you don't have focus and clarity on what you want to do in business, then how's your day going to pan out? Like you're going to get to half your half day and want to crash or pike out. Whereas if you look after yourself and create like a healthy body um, and give yourself that chance, that fighting chance to have all that focus, clarity and energy, then it's going to shine onto your business and you can do more. You can outlast more in the day and you know, you can start to focus on new things and put your energy elsewhere where you need to build, you know? So yeah, like having that, you know, exercise, you're eating well, your stress levels, your sleep patterns, all these build up on and have a huge effect on what's going to happen for the rest of your day. Understandable. Thank you so much, Dean, for that. So walk us through the process that you take your clients as soon as they come through with you. What is it that you actually assess, look at, and how do you help um, people feel and do well? Yep. So the first thing is when someone reaches out and they want to um, get some sort of result, the first thing is they've got to meet with me um, and they've got to make that effort to come see me in person or, you know, whether it's on online like this, or like a call or something, they've got to actually make the effort to to take a you know take that next step and show me that they're ready to take action. That's the first step because you need to be you need to be willing to take action to get any sort of result. Um, a lot of people out there love the idea of you know a better body or a healthier body or a better business even but they're not willing to take the steps to get there. And actions are a massive one there. So the first thing, take action. Once they're with me, then it's all about questioning. Like, what have they done in the past that's got them to the point where they are at the moment? What are they doing now? What would they like to do? Um, and really breaking down, like we always work off a five-step process. And the first couple of steps is know what exactly what you want to achieve. And we, we use this five-step process for business and with our health and fitness and actually with our lifestyle in general. It doesn't matter what sort of area you want to build. If you don't know exactly what you want, then how are you going to achieve it? Let's say, put it in perspective, if you've got dinner planned for tonight, you know that um, you're, it's your turn to cook dinner, but you don't know exactly what shop you're going to go buy the food from. How do you know which roads to take to get there? You know it's a Coles down the road maybe that you need to get to, but if you don't know if, which suburb it's in or 
you know, which state it's in, how will you know what roads to get there? So there's your first step. Um, understanding why is the next step. Why do you actually want this? What's going to be that juice that propels you forward? What's going to be that juice that um, that's going to get you out of bed, especially on the bad days? Like we understand in business or and with health and fitness, they work both from hand in hand that there's always going to be a rough day. You're always going to fall off track. Even us as experts, we always fall off track. But we've got that thing there that we look to whenever we know we fall off track to kick us up the bum and say, oh, you're off track. Here's what you got to do. There's got to be that system. You got to know your why. So why are you doing this? Are you doing it for your kids? Are you doing it for your future? Are you doing it for whatever reason it is? You're looking at, you know, you're doing it just because you want to drive a Ferrari or something. Yeah. So you got to understand what your why is. Um, the next process is working out a plan and the plan's a big thing. This is your map. So basically this is your GPS. This is what roads you're going to take to get there. You know what your end goal is. You know why you need to get there. You need to get there because you need dinner cooked tonight. Otherwise, your family is going to be on your case. Right? So your plan is your map to get there, what roads you're taking. And you need to really break that down exactly. And it doesn't have to be scary. You know your end goal. Just bring it backwards and work out what you need to do, you know, even down to the half an hour each day. Like it could be just step outside or get up out of your office chair and do some stretching or do some, some sort of movement or, you know, carry some nuts in your pocket or something or something simple that you can do and simplify each part of your day. So the overall part of your day is so much more easier and you can break down, like, as they say, how do you, how do you eat an elephant, right? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. Right? So it's the same, same step. And I like to work in 15 minute blocks. And if you're just doing that 1% change within that 15 minute block your whole 24 hours is going to look huge by the end of it all right so um step four is um is looking at how you're going to take action you've got your plan there you know what you want you know why you want it you've got your plan set out how are you going to take action how are you going to put it in place are you going to make sure it's in your diary all the time and you're going to do it every single day um are you going to make sure you're going to be somewhere on time at this certain place or whatever it is? What's going to be those triggers that set you off that when you're off track, set you off and be like, all right, I need to be here. Otherwise it doesn't work. Like we all know if we stop breathing, then we need a bit of a kick to, to start breathing again, right? Because it's important. Why isn't the rest of our day important either? Like the things that we do. We, we've come to that place where we've, where we've put our bodies or our health on a back burner just to reach some other goal. But it's the same principles. I, I use the same principles as we do with business as what we do with health and fitness. If you, if you don't take action with your business, you're not going to see those dollars in your account. You don't take action with your body or your health. You're not going to see the energy. You're not going to see you know, the strength to get through the day. You're going to be walking up and down those stairs and get to the top and out of breath, uh, you know, these sort of things, that, you know, which most people don't want. We've, co we've come to a point in our society that we're okay with feeling just meh. Like, wouldn't you rather feel on top of the world and have so much energy be running around with your kids and do what you want, when you want, how you want, with whoever you want, right? This is what we do business for, is to be able to have those things, have the freedom. So why not have it with our health but just by taking 1% one, 1 steps every single part of the day to create it, right? Consistency is the biggest key and that's, that's a huge thing in business and health and fitness is consistency. And the last step is find accountability. Number five, who can, who can kick you out the bum when you fall off track? Who's that person that's going to help you out? Um, you know, we, we always tend to fail ourselves or not show up for ourselves but if we know there's someone there waiting for us we're more likely not to let them down we don't like letting other people's down but we like to let our, ourselves down it's quite easy to let ourselves down but if we know we're going to let someone else down usually we get a, a rain of fire buddy put onto us so you know so who's going to be your accountability buddy is it going to be an expert is it going to be a trainer or a coach is it going to be your best friend or your neighbor or your dog or something you know Find that accountability buddy. And they're the five steps that we work with, whether it's health, fitness, or business, or you know, just creating your bucket list, or if you want to go travel or something and create more lifestyle, I'll say yes to more. Find out those five things and start working towards it and simplifying everything that you do with with your day. 
So that's the first things that we map out. We map out everything um, when I first see them and then we just put the plans in place. So taking action. All right. You know, public speakers normally drop the mic, but if you're at the gym, what's your, what's your sound of when you've actually hit your personal best? Can you do it for us right now? <laughs> well, I don't actually have a sound for personal best, but it's usually a high five. If someone does get a personal best for me, it's a high five and just like a hell yeah. All right. Like there, that. there is my high five because you yeah. literally just dropped the mic there uh, for us. <laughs> In as much as your whole uh, process is literally, um, you know, what anybody really needs to succeed in business. First of all, you got to know your path and then reverse engineer where you want to go, like you say, and then figure out what your why is. And then once you know what your why is, you're now working towards achieving that with accountability, with consistency, and just really being an awesome person. And I like the way you phrased it and the way you've put it across because at the end of the day, that's what business really is. That's what makes you happy. That's what gives you a happier existence. And um, I see why you do what you do. And um, well, that, that's, that's really phenomenal. Now, you also did mention something uh, while you were talking, how um, you, you could grow uh, as a person, that means while you're exercising and you are going out there, you could actually network with other people while maybe at the gym or you're cycling or something. How much, um, you know, w would that be a true statement to say that exercising also helps you build your network um, in, in, in whatever industry you're in? Most definitely. There's so many um, groups out there these days, like especially group training. Like there's so many boot camps and group trainings out there. If you're putting yourself into a group, doesn't matter if it's a group of three or 40 or even a hundred. Some groups I've seen have been around that big, massive thing. There's so many people around you to be able to meet, to be able to you know, connect with and find that commonality to then be like, hey, this, and this is a key phrase I use quite a lot. Hey, you're on Facebook. I'd love to see what your journey's like. And right. I use Facebook's my database, really. Like, right. I feel um, email marketing and things like that aren't as strong anymore. Like, personally, because I don't look at emails too often anymore, um, Facebook's my database. So that's where if I've got someone on there, it's easy to see what they're up to. It's easy to see what they can see what I'm up to. Um, and you can market without being too hassle Like, you know, you can't, without hassling them or being pushy or those sort of things just by sharing what you do and what you love. Great stuff. Obviously as business people, if you're not networking or you're reaching out to other uh, professionals, then your business is not going to go any further. Right now in our business lives, in order for us to be profitable and that health that we're talking about, we have to create stuff that we're going to be demanding money off of for later. So you got to create maybe a course or maybe you got to create some sort of content for those people to come to your Facebook uh, and coming through. I read somewhere once that not only um, does lifting heavy things tone your muscles, but it actually improves your brain power. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Uh, yes. Yeah, so your mind's a muscle as well. And the more you work your mind, the more it grows. So that's why they always say like read and those sort of things. But if you're, if you're lifting weights or you're exercising, running, whatever it is, you're a lot more focused. And here's the thing. Whenever you go running, a lot of the time it's just you and you've got your headphones in there or exercise and got your headphones in there. You tend to start brain dumping. You tend to start um, thinking about all the things that, you know, that could go, could, you could do all these sort of things. That's what I do. But usually I'm, I always, um, you know, strip everything that's in my head and just zone out completely. So I'm getting out of my stress zone. I'm eliminating stress, basically, eliminating that factor. So your mind also gets a clearing, right? So they say that um, a great, well, I use it if someone's got a lot of words going on in their head, a lot of talk and self-talk, those sort of things going on in their head, always have a diary next to your bed and just brain dump, get everything out. It doesn't have to make sense. Just get every word that pops out in your head into a book and get it out of your head and onto you know wherever else onto a bit of paper or whatever and that's going to start giving you some clarity before you go to bed it's going to give you some some clear you know getting rid of the forestry <laughs> <That's hard. laughs> so yeah most definitely that mind that mindset is huge um 
But also, you know, when it comes to health and fitness and the mind, the way we um, perceive, like perception, perception's key, right? So everything that we perceive, we take in because um, everyone sees things a lot different. Everything that we perceive also creates our behaviours and habits and things like that. We can change behaviours and habits at any time and it's a matter of what we're doing at the time. And, you know, like if you're exercising and putting yourself into certain situations, you're allowing new habits to take place. You're allowing new behaviors to take place that maybe once you closed off from. So maybe you weren't a gym person once, but you met someone that you could go to the gym with and you started to enjoy it. Yet before you weren't enjoying it because you, you were scared. Um, these big meat heads and things are usually in there that they were lifting big weights and you weren't sure about lifting weights. They scared you. You maybe you were a bit scared about your self image or your self confidence, these sort of things, because you haven't quite yet learnt those skills. You know, being put in there with someone that knows this stuff and can educate you as well can bring your self confidence up, bring your self image up, your self belief as well. Like believing in yourself is huge because um, you can start to create massive things. And these principles also um, drift on to how you treat your business. Because if you're out in public or you're exercising, you've got self issues, self conscious, uh, confidence, sorry, self belief issues, then you're going to portray that into your business as well. You're going to take that over. And if you're put into a networking situation of some sort where you know you've got to get sales or you've got to meet people to build your database, these sort of things, and you're allowing those issues to come into place, then you know, it can disrupt your whole day. Can disrupt your whole business and how you take it, right? So, yeah, you know, most definitely the mind is huge. And if you're not exercising it, then <laughs> you're always going to stay in the same mind frame. <laughs> Understandable. So, from what I'm getting from you, is um, it's no longer just about lifting heavy things, you're actually getting your creative juices to start flowing because the more you exercise, the more blood. <laughs> Um, you know, flows to your brain and, you know, instead of you just sitting there and brainstorming, all you probably can need is a, a jog around the block and, you know, your, mm. your, your brain can start really functioning there. You also touched on a little bit about um, confidence, okay, um, which is something that is very crucial in this online space and if somebody's going to be doing videos or, you know, having the energy to sustain um, you know, large amounts of time of maybe, con you know, concentration and, and really being confident with um, their presentation skills and being in front of other people. Um, let's say they're doing a speech or they're, um, you know, doing a presentation to potential clients. Now, how does exercise and, um, you, know, you know, being fit have anything to do with your personal uh, confidence and you know the way you 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 run your business as you alluded to a little bit earlier. Oh, most definitely. Um, confidence is huge. Like it changes a lot when you start to shape your body. When you start to look better, feel better, um, your confidence just shines because you know you look and feel better. You know that you're on top of the world. And you're doing so many things to be better that your confidence actually shines. You start to want to be out in public more you start to want to be around other people more because you want to show off what you got like if you're driving around in say an old v dub or whatever you know you don't really want to be and it's all rusty and things you get you get scared about being around other people like you don't want to be pulling up at a fancy party or something you've got a rusty v dub pulling up and you're getting out of it right but if you were to pull up in a ferrari you're going to do a few laps to make sure everyone saw it, right? <laughs> <laughs> As you get out, make sure someone opens the door for you. You've got a couple of high fives there. Um, so it's the same with your body. You know, if you treat it, like if you're treating it not very well, then that's how it's going to portray when you start to stepping out into, into the open. When you come out of your house, you don't really want others to see it. Um, whereas if you, you know, treat it well and start turning into that Ferrari, you know, you're looking good, you're feeling good for whatever your perception is good. Obviously everyone's perception of their body is completely different. Um, you've got to love yourself where you're at. As long as you're loving yourself where you're at, you're going to shine as well with that. 
Yeah, so self-confidence is a huge thing. And then at the end of the day, confidence to me is what you know. Because if we're, if we're lacking confidence, it's usually because of fear. And fear is, you know, we're just scared of what could possibly happen. And now unless you're a psychic or something and you know exactly what your future is going to be, you have no idea what's going to happen at the end of the day. So if it's the self-talk you're telling yourself. Now, if you practice and you practice and you practice and you get yourself in there and start enjoying the processes you're doing, your confidence is going to shine too because, you know, at the end of the day, we didn't always, we didn't come out of the womb knowing how to walk. And now I'm sure if someone came to us and said, show us your walk, you'd be like, huh, I got this. I have got this. You just watch me walk and how well I can walk. Whereas, you know, if it's public speaking, like you mentioned just before, even the first time I went up in public spoke, I was, you know, I was scared out of my brains, <laughs> sweats, and I was, I was afraid of what they would think. But if I went into the situation like I do now and think 15 minutes after, and here's a, here's a trick you can utilize. If you think 15 minutes after the event and think about how well it went, you're high-fiving yourself. You've got people coming up to you and saying, oh, my God, you're so knowledgeable. You're so good at what you do. You're going to pick yourself up and your, your state and your physiology up before you even hit the stage. So you're going on there thinking, hell, yeah, these guys are going to love what i got to say. Right? So eliminate unless you're a psychic which i haven't met one yet that knows what my future is going to be um eliminate what could happen or what could go wrong and start thinking about what could go right and you'll start to eliminate some of the fears uh, and i learned these tricks from a few different places but the main one was and you will uh enjoy this one prosper i went to africa last year and um yeah mate i jumped off the Balkans Bridge, as a call, down near Plet. Yes, the bungee. We did the bungee in South Africa. Did the bungee, and it was 220 meters down. Off a crane. And off a bridge. Off, yeah. off a bridge. Off a bridge. And you could imagine the self-talk that was going on in my head. But the, the lead-up, I went for a run that morning, and I said to myself, this is going to be so much fun. Whatever self-negative talk comes to my head, I've got to eliminate it. Because the more I think about it, the less I want to jump. <laughs> That's a long way, right? <laughs> but then again, there's thousands of other people that have done these things before me. Thousands of other people that have built a decent PT business or a fitness business or built a business in general. All I need to do is do what they do. You know, eliminate the fear that it could go wrong and think about all the things that could go right and how much I'm going to enjoy that at the end. Great stuff. Wow. Sure. <clears throat> Man, thank you so much for dropping all these bombs. Obviously, um, with the audience and if somebody has been watching, this has been a very valuable chat and um, all the nuggets that you're dropping there. Now, somebody could be watching right now, Dean, and they're sitting at the edge of their seat and they're like, I really like what this guy is talking about. How can people get a hold of you? Yep. So you can either reach out to me on Facebook at Fitness for Life, um, or you can go to our webpage at F F for Fitness for the number four life as in lifestyle dot com dot au. Great stuff. Right now, do you have any sort of last exercise tips for because as entrepreneurs, twenty four hours a day, we're probably just stuck in our offices trying to make this whole internet thing work. What sort of exercises can people just do? easily but that will um get their blood flowing or get their uh mind um you know functioning like we've perfect. discussed yeah yep perfect so the main concept we work on is getting uh getting fit and trimming that fat within 15 minutes a day and realistically if you're consistent like you are in your business with your body then that is very possible um so exercise wise use big compound movements which means move more than one joint um, and work off a push, pull, and leg system. So if you're pushing something, pushing it away from your body, you're going to get everything on the front of your body. If you're pulling something towards you, you're using everything on the back of your body. And then your legs are your major, major uh, muscle group in your whole body. So anything like, you know, major ones like squats or lunges, things like that, that are basic that you can do um, every single day. Challenge yourself by adding some weight or adding some power movements in there or some speed 
and just make sure you do it every single day that and that's going to get you a result um eat well and you won't have to worry about you know everyone has to eat as long as you're eating breakfast lunch and dinner they're the main ones and you're focusing on what you're putting into your body then um then the rest of your day is going to be well so think about your car you don't put diesel into a petrol car because you know you're not going to get very far if you've got a high performance car you're not going to put e10 or you know 91 fuel into a into a performance car you're going to put the the maximum up there because you know your car needs it so start treating your body like it is a ferrari um the other thing is stress levels try and work out a way to manage your stress whatever it is for you um stress is huge but sometimes we stress about little things Try not sweat about the little things. And, you know, at the end of the day, does it add value to your life? Is stressing over something going to add value to your life? Most of the times, not really. Um, the other thing is get plenty of sleep. All right, so brain dump. If you've got a lot of things going on in your head, brain dump, as I said earlier, get a journal, write down every word. It doesn't have to make sense. Just get every word that comes in your head, put it down on paper. Um, that sleep is where recovery happens. Your clarity and focus starts to build all the creative juices happen while you're asleep if you get a good sleep you're going to wake up for the next day fresh as a daisy um the last one is have a lifestyle be social don't be stuck up in your office all the time get out with your friends get out in the sun get that vitamin d enjoy yourself have a picnic have a party whatever it is get rid of all that negative self-talk and you know the negative issues whatever happened in the past you know whatever happened in the past to create your negatives these today the negative emotions that you've got today Work out a way that you can eliminate them or get rid of them completely um, because that's going to stop you from living your life today and all we've got is today. Oh, thank you so much. Do you get another high five? Obviously, <laughs> for the amount of um, you know, value you're dropping, this is easily one of our best episodes. And if you're watching this right now, I encourage you to actually subscribe to this channel because it's people like Dean that actually would help us to um, you know, go over the top and do things that will actually help us have those businesses that we want that are profitable and enjoyable. And as I said when we were starting the show, you can't do well if you are not actually feeling well. So go on, uh, find out. I will put in all the links that Dean has mentioned uh, on how you can get a hold of him. You can see he's got so much energy. He does lift a lot of heavy things. We're going to have to let him go so that he can go and eat some iron. He's probably getting hungry right now. In the, in the <laughs> meantime, thank you so much, my man, for your time, Pleasure. your value, and uh, basically your expertise in this episode today. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. Bye for now. Thank you. That's it. Oh man, you, <laughs> you, nailed, bad, right? you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> what, what, how do you think we went? Uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Good stuff. You know.